Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. And we're starting once again at nighttime, kind of like we left the last episode, but uh, been through the place kind of cleaning up little odds and ends and and uh, those little details that didn't make it into the last episode. They're all back to sleep again. I'm paused at the moment because I'm hearing rumbles off in the distance again. I think we've got another thunderstorm about to pop. We'll see if that works out. Um, but our shelves are getting full again. We're about to... What's all the crackling noises? Whoa, thunderstorm. Crackling noises, I guess, are the, the torches. Okay, um, so thunderstorm is rolling in. Um, as we get more of the cloth, you know, the cotton um, harvested, there it is. We're, we've only got space for five more storage things in, in this side of the camp. Food is, I want dedicated to over here now. So what I'm thinking of is one more expansion out here. I hate to keep expanding this area, but it is kind of a cheap expansion to make. So same concept out these backsides right here. Let me get down a little bit. So right there and there. All right, so and then more shelving. So you copy and build you guys out. One, two, three. And hang on to you and rotate around right there. And one, two, three, oops, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it always does that. You cancel. We happy now? Eh. Now, there's four spaces. Is that not under the roof anymore? It might not be. Insufficient storage space. Wait, what? Insufficient storage space. For five ores. I don't know. I must have broke something. Anyway, um, cancel you. I'll oh, cancel the whole thing. Okay, try this all again. You, um, copy, rotate around. One, two, three, star, three triangles. There we go. Now, let this thing run. Boy, look at the lightning all over. I wonder if we're going to see one hit. A, uh, wow. We've got a lightning rod right here and one right there so kind of keep an eye on those anyway this storage copy you and we'll get similar ones to you right in there one two three and then rotate and one two three boy that was way off cancel you I want to get where I can still see these six in the morning I'm going to wake them up soon, but um, um, copy, rotate around, there. One, two, three, click. All right, that's done. Insufficient storage space. I'm confused about that. Why is there suddenly more ore sitting around like it fell out of something in the night? Don't know. Just kind of looking around and watching. This is the day that I was thinking about going and attacking that bug nest. So auto saves happen at seven in the morning for some reason. Um, we're all waking up. Okay. So, what condition are we in? I know the rain is going to make everybody uh, give everybody negative sixes. Is that right? Uh, soaking wet. Yeah. But otherwise, we need relaxation. And that's right. I had set things to scheduled relax first thing in the morning. That's right. So get that part out of the way. So Carter's just going to sit out in the rain and Paulette's going to go take a walk, right? No, she doesn't know what she wants to do. Why is that? Because you're actually pretty good on your relaxation. So let's have you... You're already relaxed too much. How about your food? You're fine. Okay, well, anybody, everybody else fine enough? Relaxation. Rita, relaxation. Simon... Um, if you had another meal that made you happy, does such a beast still exist? Buttermelon pie. Uh, fruitcake? You go and do that. Eat, get happy, 
And Paulette, there's nothing to make you do, huh? Then let's put you to work. Um, let's see here. Let's set up two more pickling jobs, and let's set up two more... Um, what's the word that I want here? Antibiotics. So, Paulette, why don't you ferment antibiotics? If you're going to be out there getting a negative six for being soaking wet anyway. And I'm seeing that they get wet just walking outside, that there isn't a covered walkway. Hmm. No, I'm not going to put in a covered walkway. But... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's a thing. Anyway, Paulette is still a question mark. Can... You already have the negative six, and it's pretty much there. So, we could use some more sticks. Come on over here and cut these while everybody else is getting their stats up. Then by nine in the morning, we'll all take off. I think that's the plan. So, any... Lightning strikes. Nope. Missed us again. Rain is dying down. Going away. Gone. Everything's getting quiet. Alright, so drinking coffee. That's a good thing. Finished eating the cake. Oh, boom. After the rain was done, we still got hit. Took out a torch. So click on it. Integrity needs repairs. So, refuel, repair, cancel the repair job. So, it automatically went to repair it. Okay. And why do we have this? Oh, this has already got materials. So, we're going to start building the roof from the middle outward. Okay. <laughs> Not normally how you build a roof. So, Carter's drinking and then, and they're playing didgeridoos and handling the campfires. And I think we're... Just about done. Paulette reached physical three. Good. Nine o'clock is about here. Uh, we've drank. I think we are pretty much ready to go. Carter, you stop where you are. Let's let... There, put all your things down and stop. I think we're, we're ready to do this. One more check on stats. Decent. Decent. Yes. Yes. Happiness is going up for everybody it just hasn't gotten there yet especially Carter okay fastest way to get them there is to draft them is there any way to bring medicine with us in case we take an injury not that I know of I don't get the sense that I can tell Paulette to to pick up the healing balm or medicine uh, boy there's antibiotics. I can't tell her to pick that up either. Okay. So we can't bring anything with us. And I'm pretty sure they have to get into a bed to be repaired. Well, to be um, uh, to be healed anyway. So let's... Hmm, let's do this. Carter, draft everybody. And work your way out to... Up through here. Here's the nest. Now we have different run speeds, so let's just put together a rallying point about there. And what pathways are we going to take? Looks like somebody's going the hard way, the rest are going to go up this way. Okay. Uh, Carter's going the hard way. <laughs> He's stubborn. <laughs> Okay, so they're doing that. Is there anything else that I needed to do out here? You are just just wandering around. Okay, you're fine. Um, yep, the home front looks okay. Let's take another look at where we're headed. And who we're going to tangle with. Ooh. Yeah, all these rattling shells and pinchers. Mm, this is not going to be fun. I'm thinking that we'll butcher everything, haul back the bug meat, and hopefully bring back uh, as many nanotubes as we can carry. We'll see how that goes. Unless 
Yeah, we just... We have attack. Attack the nest. Huh. See how that works. Do we break the nest, nest down by attacking it? Then pull out the resources or what? Carter's first. Simon is vomiting. Did you get some bad food? You might have. Uh, enough food variety. Otherwise, no hint of what happened there. Ate a tasty meal. Ate a chef's meal. Hmm. Rita played music. Paulette. Okay, I think we're ready. Simon, when you're done, can you work your way over here? <clears throat> I need somebody to go in there and aggro them and bring them back to the rest of us. Who is that going to be? Paulette has the shortest range, so it cannot be her. In fact, I want her off to the side. Is that Paulette? Yeah. Anything gets too close to us, you can hopefully shoot them out from, uh, from under their feet. So Carter, Simon. Simon, there you are. You've got the fastest run speed. That seems like the wisest move. Bring you in here, and you're still drafted. We'll see your your green sphere of influence stop right there. And can you attack that one? Boom! Missed. Two, two animals have aggroed. Just two. They're the only ones that noticed. So, Simon, go ahead and pull back here. Let uh, let the bugs get into the the other's range. There we go. Simon, Rita. Can't really see them. They're in the woods. Are we... No, oh, there's still one more coming. Oh, animal attack 10. They're all coming. Okay. Let's... Let's pull Simon back further. I want to be able to see who's about to uh, launch a, a stinger at you or whatever they do. Okay, that one's down. Paulette... Come on in a little bit closer. We still have eight coming at us. <clears throat> Let's turn faces off so we can see in there. And six are coming. Not many are making it into the field. Deflected. Okay. Four more are coming. Ah, these are the big ones. Okay. There we go. There's a better view. Now, Paulette... You should be able to get a shot now. There you go, and you missed. <laughs> oh, oh, that one says, hey, I've had enough of that. One more? Wow, one more coming in. And we're done. Oh, big shadow. Yeah, those guys are going to be uh, fighting for our bug meat. And we're done? Well, we're done with those that, that were triggered. Anybody left? I don't see anyone. Oh, right there. Okay. Anybody in the woods? I don't see any in there. Okay. Well, Simon. Actually, let's bring everybody up to here. And Simon, you go a little further. Let's bring you out until you come in contact there right there hit him or her and bring her back come on out to here and soon they'll all come into range right in about there you see it in there not easily what's happening here oh our pterodactyl's walking around in there that's it that is it. We're done. All right. <clears throat> Let's send Simon and well, you two. You guys don't get along too well. Um, no, we're going to do that anyway. You two. I got you. Let me bring the faces back up. No, I don't. You two right there. Come on into here and let's see what it takes to get the nanotubes out of there. Rita, let's undraft you and butcher where are the little guys. Right there, butcher all those. So total for butchering. How many insects are in there? There we go, nine. So if I were to click you and you, 
I don't see another butcher symbol come up, so I guess they're all tagged. Okay, Rita, can you butcher these guys and butcher those guys? Paulette, undraft, can you butcher these guys? Alright, so you two go through and get us all the bug meat you can. Carter and Simon, get up here and see what's involved in getting nanotubes. Now, there is an attack. So Simon and Carter. Carter, you what are you doing? Get up there. <laughs> and attack. Oh. Does anything else come out of there? Okay, it went away. But where are the nanotubes? Apparently that's not the way you do it. Okay. So in that case observe okay Simon you undraft and observe the nest Carter you come over here and be ready to defend them we still have bugs over here in what looks like a second nest <clears throat> let's make sure Carter doesn't actually aggro on them so I don't know how much bug meat we can carry back home but this seems to be working. So in other words, let's not observe. Simon, how about you go over here and observe that one. Carter, you wander over here as well, just in case something walks over and gets it within your sphere of influence. Okay. Observe the one furthest away. And you've got to walk all around it, don't you? Are you saying you're, hmm... No, you're not. <laughs> okay, ladies, how you doing? Alright, so you are butchering everything out here. You're butchering everything in here. And we'll haul all this stuff back. Hopefully we get fermentation. Uh, turning bug meat. Actually, Rita, can you do one more for me? Can you butcher this guy first? There you go. And is there a little one in there too? I think there's two of them there. So when you're done, also butcher that one. Okay. So, Paulette, you're on your last one, aren't you? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So Paulette's going to transport... Everybody here seems to be doing okay. All right, well, Carter, I suppose you can... Well, just in case we don't get all the bug meat, come on over here. You two are transporting. Five and 99, something got missed there. Now, let's see here. Or did Rita pick up everything else? That is Rita. Paulette picked up everything else. I don't see any of the bug meat. And unfortunately, the trees make it really hard to see anything on the ground here, but nothing is flagging with a number. I think we're done. So in that case, Carter, undraft. Is there anything else that, that you can do while you're here? Not really. Okay. So we can't harvest nanotubes yet. Apparently, we have to observe them first. And... Carter or Sam, Simon seems to be safe. So I think we're good, though I don't see Simon getting this accomplished today. It's probably a two day job for him. All right, so Carter, undraft and make your way back home. Yep. Kind of escort the ladies safely back. That way we got three guns or better. And I guess that's. Well, we're semi successful. I thought I was coming back with carbon nanotubes. What's going on in here? <laughs> You're inspecting the plans, huh? What do you think? You like the double fireplace? I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. Whoa. Did it just get dark that fast? Just about. Yeah. They're probably going to come back cranky pants, aren't they? Low mood, low mood, average mood, and low mood. Yeah, Simon. Come on back. <clears throat> And 
get you recharged again, send you back tomorrow and get all that done. Okay. Found a whole bunch of trees that were all at their full growth. So get into cutting those probably, hopefully tomorrow and get all the wood we need to cover that deficit right there. Um, oh, we're about to rot away fruitcake. And we had another boom. Another big roll of thunder just went through. We got a thunderstorm two days in a row? Huh, I don't know. Um, Simon ate fruitcake before he left. He ate that fruitcake before he left. Yeah, that's why he was throwing up. Uh huh. Boy, that fire sounds like rain. I thought raindrops are starting to hit the roofs. Okay. So, where are you guys at? <clears throat> Carter, oh, Simon is the faster run. Yeah, that's why. Uh, Carter. Carter made it. Rain. Uh, rain is rolling in. And risk a meltdown from Simon. Ah, he'll be fine. And the ladies are just making their way down the hillside. Transporting all that wonderful bug meat. <laughs> Alright, Simon, we got bug meat. Give me fuel fermentation. So, Carter is up repairing the torch. What does that mean? Why are you still... Oh, you made a long pathway from that torch through there to this torch. I see. Okay. So, both torches are up and running again, but you need to actually build this one. Ah. Uh, risk of meltdown. Three of us risk of meltdown. Okay, we'll get this one built, then why don't you, what? Everything. Alright, go and eat. You're all eating berries. We have no meals. That meal's rotting. We rotted away all of our porridge. Yeah. Okay, tomorrow is a cooking day for Paulette. Gotta get us caught up. So, we're eating some not very good things. Simon, dried meat. Hmm. Dried meat. Ten of them for one meal. Pause for a second here. Um, no sense of any happiness eating it. So, I guess the benefit here is that it takes a lot long. It, it, it lasts a lot longer before it rots. No more of this going on. So once we get refrigeration, that's going to uh, going to be much better too. But Simon, you ate that meal, and you know, I guess you went from crushingly to just low. We'll see. Extremely unhappy. Hmm. Yeah, we, I pushed them today. I did, and you two are still just arriving. Extremely unhappy. You're gonna put that on a shelf, Paulette. You are crushingly unhappy. <laughs> Yeah, all of you grab, uh, well, grab some berries, I guess. Getting some meat to eat. Okay. I guess you like that, and you too. All right, I'm not going to argue with it. So you get what you can and go get some sleep. Tomorrow you will go through and relax, maybe find some more foods and get your, your lives back in order. So hungry went from negative 18 to negative 9 there. The rain went away. Good. And you're no longer soaked. And you're back to a negative 9. Okay. And you were annoyed by Rita because Rita bored Paulette with such bland small talk. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You guys just go and do you. So much harvesting to be done. Hmm. Let's queue all of these up because there isn't enough harvesting already, but when we do a major harvesting run through here, it would be wise to get all those that we can. Harvest those. And do we still have a little bit of syrup? 
No, that's... That's all picked up. Is that the right one? No, it's over here. Thought I saw some syrup sitting on the floor. Right there. Yeah, sweet syrup 30. So we do need to get that dealt with once these guys wake up. Alright, so let's wander through. What are you? You're just uh, leftover hay. Okay. What's going on in our, our realm tonight? Any new critters move in? Looks the same as it's looked for a while. You guys are attacking this little baby. Really? And you're running... Oh, they got more of them over here. You're trying to take out the whole brood. Hmm. And... The birds are a better... Are better at their job than the flatheads. The birds don't miss. Flatheads do. I can't watch it. I just can't. Let's explore. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. What? Just explore. Okay. But I wanted to read that. Um... Previous is this way. Okay, explore. Uh, travel time. Fly the balloon high and look around for points of interest. New expedition sites may be unlocked as a result. Each consecutive exploration will take more time. Ooh, choose wisely. So next, that's the only one. And close. Okay. Is there a tab for that? Orders. Camp. Defense. How do you get back to that? Exploration. So that's the only one that's available right now. And it's not going to give us any details. Okay. So close you. And is it just me? Did everything just get more vivid? I guess it's the sunrise. Reflecting off the moon. Oh, that's pretty wild. Look at that. So the sun is hitting it and I don't know what's going on there huh I have not noticed that before the sun's over here huh. odd All right, you guys are waking up 7 o'clock you're, you're supposed to go and relax but is that enough rest yeah you'll be in your 80s to 90s alright you'll be okay Was Carter I think was one of the last ones to go to sleep 82. Now, um, Rita could use a little more than that. Simon's done. Maybe we will let Rita sleep some more. She's drinking. <laughs> She's going to get some coffee. Yeah. Coffee and then Paulette. You get a little bit of excitement and entertainment in that I need you to cook all day long. Something just flew in over there. Oh, I hear it. There it is. I wonder if we need two of those. We just might. Hmm. Hand pan is over there. You're going to play that one. Let's make another didgeridoo. Right there. Let's do that. Otherwise, Carter, you can get to work on this, hopefully. Um, looks like we have enough materials besides... These take wood as well. They... There we go. They took just hand sticks. So we're good there. Playing darts, drinking coffee. <clears throat> Flatheads roaming around. I haven't seen any of them eating our garden yet, so I think we're still okay. We're just swapping from one entertainment to another at least they have enough variety to keep them going for two hours but everybody's holding their heads <laughs> yeah but Simon played music survivor's determination is down to plus 10 it's just about to run out Paulette is going to go and cook now there's something I noticed in between episodes. Is it under schedule? No, not schedule. Activities? No. This is where I would have gone to look to see if there was a particular interest. You know, that uh, Rita really enjoyed 
um, farming, harvesting and planting, but it doesn't actually... Oh, it does. There's the word interest right there. Okay. I know if you go to Rita, so this is what I noticed, I had, hadn't really uh, paid attention to the interested there. So Paulette is interested in healing, but not cooking. So if we got Paulette doing, well, healing, that's the only one she's got. So let's just use Rita. If Rita were to do some cooking, or of course her farming, she would get a, a bonus to it. What are you doing right now? You are handling fermentation barrel. Um, okay. That's the, uh, uh, the antibiotics. So if we had re... If we had done this a little differently at the very beginning, we could have had them happier at their jobs and got bonuses as they worked. So Simon, for example, is interested in crafting, not researching. We got him doing researching because he has the best intellect. But if he were crafting, if he were sewing, where is your, where is Simon right now? It is... 1100 you are eating ah she made some porridge and he's gonna grab something to eat so in other words research we get this one done we get this to research and that up there to research but he would have a lot more fun sewing crafting building doing what Paulette is doing Paulette needs to be cooking why is she not cooking have we really no, there's lots of things to make. Um, cook some veggie soup, and then cook some butter, butter melon pie, and then cook some grain porridge. Yeah, let's get the cooking done. Why does she not? What happened that made her stop cooking? Activities. Paulette, cooking. So she went to crafting because cooking wasn't available for some reason. Maybe somebody did something with her stove. Filled it up with wood, handled it, like Rita. So Rita is doing the handling, now she's doing the harvesting. And now she just got a farming plus 18 because she's doing the harvesting. So if Simon were instead to... Oh, do something like this. Actually, sewing, what are we doing? Simon, what if I told you to... Craft a spear? What is on the ground here? An unfinished spear. Simon, if you were to craft that spear, would you get a bonus for crafting? Simon, happy. Interested in crafting, plus 18. Okay. You want to put it away. Because you can't work on it because it was Paulette's job? Maybe. Let's... I'm just experimenting here. Um, how are you guys' clothes? Oh, you're already half worn out. Yeah, we're going to have to do something about that. So let's throw in four... Warm? Next season's going to be here. They're going to be wearing this next set of clothing through the winter. Thermal pants. No synthetics. Give me four of those. And at least shirts. Uh, sweaters. No synthetics. Four of those. And then what? Shoes. Probably. Summer shoes. Sneakers. Uh, cold tolerance, is that the difference? And one piercing deflection. Takes 10 of or 20 of. Oh, it takes 10 of each. Okay. Let's go with boots. And again, no synthetics. We'll save the synthetics for... I think I saw this last time. Synthetic armor. Looks like it requires synthetic to build that. Leather armor is available, too. That's what we need to get working on. Um, I know I'm kind of jumping and rambling around here. 
Anything else? Veggie armor is available. Takes 20s and 30s and 40s to make them. Um, untempered veggie armor is not strong enough to be used as armor. We just need time to temper with it. Hmm. Versus leather armor. Now that we have some dry leather, we can use it to make helmets, chest armor, pants, and boots. Leather armor items provide better protection against blunt and piercing than common clothes. So, I wish it gave me an example of the uh, hit points of leather versus veggie. Craft on a tailor's bench compared to craft... Oh, there it is, tailor's bench. I thought it said a crafting bench. Okay. Which one do we want to go for? I guess... Let's do that. Um, is there anything else here that was vitally important? Emergency rations, brewing. Uh, we already have fuel. First aid kits might not be a bad idea. Yeah. Let's toss those in there, too. Okay, so that's that. But I want Simon to... Simon to sew some... Make some boots. So let's shut down what you're doing, if that's what it takes. Okay, and now I want you to sew some boots. I'm going to grab those. Paulette now is going to transport stones. Why did you pick up... Oh, because I've said don't store here anymore, store there. So she went to get the stones here, grab all those stones. But I would so much rather you cooked. So, have you been... Oh, is there something cooking... Um, no, at least there's no bar going on. So you're transporting. Hmm. So when you're done, Paulette, let's get back to work here. So cook those, cook those, and cook those. Okay. You get those done. So what's everybody else doing? <clears throat> Carter is eating. Now that we have food, Paulette is cooking. Rita is harvesting. All right. So get more of, of the grain cob in. You're done. Why did you do that much and stop? I'm curious. Because you're hungry? No, now you're planting. Interesting. How about when you're done with that planting, you come over here and harvest a bunch of those? Yeah, so that Simon... Oh, these happen pretty quick. I'll have you do just the one. Simon, happy, played music. Doesn't say he's doing something that interests him. That's crafting. Unless it's very specific. Crafting versus sewing. But in here, it's all listed as crafting, crafting, crafting. Hmm. Don't know. Carter's constructing a shelf. Oh, I didn't even see you did that. Good. Got a building up. And so Rita is still out here doing this. Simon. We saw him doing that. Paulette is cooking. Good. And Carter's over here working on the shelves that aren't under the roof. <laughs> okay, so Carter, when you're done, come on and construct shelter. Missing resources. We need more sticks. Okay, I need a stick cutter. Carter, come on out over here and make some sticks. Um, you know what? Pop all those. Do those instead. So Carter, come on over and cut these bushes. I might be able to get some more garden up into here. That pathway comes down like this. Yeah, I think we'll garden right in here. So we're going to have to take those out anyway. But yeah, we've been low on, on sticks for a while, so let's get that taken care of. So I guess next episode we'll get back into the, the research up there at the bug nest. And is I guess we're going to find out if anything can move back in. I mean, Junior over here might want to start his or her own colony and just move into these bug houses. Yeah, I'll have to keep an eye on that. And it's such a long walk to go and harvest them. 
Oh, I made it home backwards. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, Rita, that's probably enough. Well, you, you're going to plant. Why don't you go ahead and haul in all the cloth? Great. Now, will you grab that one? You will not. Let's do that again. Can you haul in all the cloth? Thank you. Oh, so we are eating away at our deficit there. And now you're going to haul it all in. Okay. So, Carter... We'll call you done at this point because it's getting late. Can you instead just haul in all the sticks? Uh, but what what happened there? Haul in all the sticks. Boots! You you are insisting on transporting two at a time. Can I one more time? Can you haul in sticks? You can't do it. So, yeah, restocking and handling being mixed with hauling is probably not a great thing. Boots. Warm leather boots padded with textile. Okay. Uh, Simon is back to researching because I didn't tell him that he had to do that. Good. I didn't, I didn't change his tasks. So you're eating. You are planting. How are you doing? And is there anything else to do other than planting? You are fine. You just need rest. Um, I guess that is it. Yeah, you just plant away. You get a bonus out of that anyway, right? You do. Interested in farming. Okay. Okay, well, I think that was a successful episode. We're, we're still alive. We learned how to make some more clothes. Um, yeah, it's just a slow grind. With only four people to do all this work. It takes a while. Rot it away. So that means the... Where am I? The shelves are empty. So the five porridge that were rotting. She couldn't make more porridge because we're only set to make four. And five of them still existed even though they were only 2%. So without the ability to throw away rotted things. That does kind of mess up our, uh, our, our plan here. But Rita's going to sleep. Simon is researching fuel. We'll probably get that next time. So fuel next time and bug nest next time. Carter is constructing a shelter. And he's got all the materials he needs now. So yeah, pop that in and go to sleep. And I think it's probably time for me to go to sleep too. So I think we're going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. And thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs>